What is going on guys? Right here we got a 2009 KX85. It's gonna need a full top and bottom rebuild. The motor's locked up. As you can see, the piston, it just broke and it sent metal down into the bottom end. So we're gonna have to split the cases and you know see what we find from there. But I did order a kit, new bearings, new crank, new piston, new seals, new everything. So hopefully, you know, we don't run into too many problems. The backstory is I was helping out a buddy it turned out to be way too much than he wanted to deal with. So ended up picking up this thing for 500 bucks. I'm gonna see if I can flip it because I have no use for it. I got my 450, the pitter, my kids stay sick. My oldest son is only five years old. So he's long ways away from riding one of these things. So I wish I would have uh, gotten a video of the condition of the bike before I started taking it apart. But as you can see, you know, there's a bunch of paint over spray. You know, I don't know how I feel about these spoke covers, I'm probably gonna remove those and clean up the bike. You know, as you can see, the filter was probably never cleaned out or changed. And you see the overspray here and all the other parts. So let's get into it.
All right, guys, so this is what we got. We got the motor completely put back together, full top and bottom end, full crank, bearings, gaskets, new, everything. Everything's brand new. The, the motor is completely fresh. Uh, I even had to have the cylinder sent out to get replated. So, you know, everything's brand new and it should be good to go for a really long time. So whoever ends up buying this thing is gonna have dozens of hours of, of a, a lot of fun. So let's get things rolling, put it back into the bike, into the frame and see if she runs. All right, so here's the situation. Uh, I got the bike out here now because uh, I'm watching my son. He's riding the Stasic in the backyard in the driveway. So, so Adrian, what do you think? Do you think tomorrow we're gonna have this thing put back together and we can ride it? Yeah. You hope so? Yeah. Yeah? All right, buddy. Be careful. All right, what's up guys? So this is a little update. I have everything in place, the motor, everything's tightened down, the brake pedal, you know, the air box, brand new air filter. All the motor wiring is all connected. You know, there's three connections here, blue, black, and then this big one right here. And then a, a ground cable, spark plugs in. So, I mean, we're getting we're getting there we got the sprocket the chains all set up i mean pretty much what's left is just the pipe gas tank get fresh fuel and she, she should be ready to rip all right guys here's a little update sorry i got the fan blowing because it's really hot almost got the bike ready yeah we got to put the seat but with most importantly we got to put oil What is going on guys? Here's the current condition of the bike. As it sits, it's obviously missing the pipe and the silencer. I removed those so I can clean out the carbon buildup out of them with the torch. Uh, I let it smoke a little while and I'll include that in the next video. Along with, I'm gonna be installing a brand new set of tires, front and rear, with a brand new set of graphics kit. Apart from that, I'm not gonna be putting any more money into the bike. That's the top of the list that is gonna get. Um, and I'm gonna see if I can flip it, sell it for, you know, if I can make a couple hundred bucks off of it, that, that'll be great. If not, she's gonna sit here in the shed and then she'll get ridden by me whenever I go to the track with my boy. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for checking out the video. Be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and stay tuned to the next video so that you can see the initial first start, the first crank, and the braking procedure. So, see you next week.